Good day, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is September 26, Saturday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time. The Gospel said, The Son of Man is to be handed over to men. But they did not understand this saying. Let's have a listen and reflect on it after. But first, The first reading is from the book of Ecclesiastes. Rejoice, O young man, while you are young. And let your heart be glad in the days of your youth. Follow the ways of your heart, the vision of your eyes. Yet understand that as regards all this, God will bring you to judgment. Ward off grief from your heart, and put away trouble from your presence. Though the dawn of youth is fleeting, remember your Creator in the days of your youth, before the evil days come, and the years approach of which you will say, I have no pleasure in them, before the sun is darkened, and the light and the moon and the stars, while the clouds return after the rain, when the guardians of the house tremble, and the strong men are bent, and the grinders are idle because they are few, and they who look through the windows grow blind, when the doors to the street are shut, and the sound of the mill is low, when one waits for the chirp of a bird, but all the daughters of song are suppressed, and one fears heights, and perils in the street, when the almond tree blooms, and the locust grows sluggish, and the caper berry is without effect, because man goes to his lasting home, and mourners go about the streets, before the silver cord is snapped, and the golden bowl is broken, and the pitcher is shattered at the spring, and the broken pulley falls into the well, and the dust returns to the earth as it once was, and the life breath returns to God who gave it. Vanity of vanities, says Koheleth. All things are vanity. Responsorial Psalm In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men. For a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You make an end of them in their sleep. The next morning they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, but by evening wilts and fades. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord! How long? Have pity on your servants. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours, prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Alleluia, Alleluia. Our Savior Christ Jesus destroyed death and brought life to light through the Gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel According to Luke While they were all amazed at his every deed, Jesus said to his disciples, Pay attention to what I am telling you. The Son of Man is to be handed over to men. But they did not understand this saying, its meaning was hidden from them so that they should not understand it, and they were afraid to ask him about this saying. Reflection In the Gospel, Jesus challenges the outlook of his disciples about the Messiah. He repeatedly predicts his death so when it does happen, their faith would not fail them. He is preparing them for what is going to come, 
so it would not break them up. He wants them to understand that the cross is the choice he made and not something foisted on him. It is the way to salvation and a path he must take. But the disciples fail to understand as so many Christians today still do, they find it hard to reconcile with a crucified Christ and his cross. Today, the Lord still challenges our thought and outlook, we cannot separate Christ from the cross. That's the end of the reflection from the Catholic Missal. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you won't miss out on the daily readings, novenas and prayers. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.